What's up everybody and welcome back to the garage. We got a quick little project out here today. See anybody that has a car, you're going to want to get under that car. It, it's good to get under there and just kind of look around sometimes, especially if you have like an oil leak or something like that. And I just got this vet as you saw in one of the other videos and she's low. I mean, she's low and I've got the standard, you know, metal ramps you can drive a car up on but they're not going to work they're, they're it's it's never going up there so today we're going to build some step ramps with some wood that i just went and picked up and um that way we can get the bed up and at least i can get my head under there and look around because i do have a bit of an oil leak that i just found and i want to get under there and figure it out before it gets too bad as you can see here she 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 low she low there's no room for any ramps and that little plastic i mean this deflects you know when you hit stuff it's not rigid but still, you don't want to get into the paint. So we're going to build some, some wooden step ramps. I think that'll work, work perfect. All right, so I made a quick trip over to the local Home Depot and picked up these 2 by 8s I went ahead and had them cut, cut in half at the store because uh, an 8-foot long board just doesn't fit in Eugene. He's, he's not that big. And uh, eight or four foot is going to be the base length anyway, so it'll work out. I'll just have to cut the other two to make the steps. And I did a little bit of measuring on the car. I, I'm going to do 16 inch step, 16 inch step, and then a stopper at the end. And I'm just kind of winging it, you know. Um, I've seen like the YouTube greats like Taylor Ray. He's got a set of these, a couple of sets of these to get his LS Miata up on his lift. So I'm kind of going by what I've seen in his videos and just kind of building it and winging it. So hopefully they work. I also grabbed some three inch construction screws. That should be plenty to get through this two inch board with enough to bite the next one. So I'm gonna get the saw out. I got the saw horses set up over here. I gotta find my saw and then um, we're gonna hack these up, screw them together and see how they fit. All right, got my old trusty skill saw out here. And I got it set at an angle that's it's as far as it'll go, and it looks to be right at 45 degrees. So I'm going to cut these edges at 45 degrees to kind of give it a little better transition here so it's not such a rigid up. It'll be kind of a ramp. And I'm going to cut them all at 45, and then that'll make it easier to go up the steps. All right, so this is gonna be generally the final layout. So you got 16 inch steps, and then I'll just go get some two by fours or something and screw to the back here to give it a stop so I don't roll off the end. I'm gonna use these construction screws here to put like four, and then four in, or six in this one, hold them all together. So I'm gonna get the drill out and get that knocked out, and then we'll be able to uh, try them out, see if they work.
All right, so I got these screwed together. I never fail to amaze myself with my level of geniusness. I just reused the little bits I cut off the end to make the uh, angle, and that's the backstop. Perfect. Almost looks professional. All right, let's get them under the car and see what happens. All right, so those actually worked out really well. I um, I had to move them forward so I could use the lip of the edge of the garage. And then I couldn't get on my creeper because it was too tall. I had to lay on some old carpet. But I was able to get underneath the car and actually find that the oil filter had loosened up. Um, it was I could turn it by hand. So I tightened that up with the wrench and snugged it real good. And uh, hopefully that'll kill the oil leak. But I'm going to show you guys the setup here in case you want to copy what I did. Because it is a bear to get under that car. I could barely get under there even like this. So this is what we got here. So we got the car on the three boards. And then you got the lip of the edge of the garage slab. So that gives you another inch and a half or so. You got a decent amount of space to get under there and at least reach around and look around. Worked out pretty good. I am happy with these. They will come in handy. Well, that's it for this one, guys. I'm going to go ahead and clean up some of this oil and put something down under the car so I can see if there's any fresh leaks. Hopefully that clears it up. But for now, um, that's it. I'm going to go probably jump in the pool because I'm hot. So uh, you guys have a good one and rock on.